Hello again, just another day for a lecture. In this video segment, we will be discussing cargo calculations and freight storage plan. These procedures and methods are solely focused on bulk carrier ship. Nevertheless, this lecture will be divided since it would take a bit longer. Hence, it will be shown in part by part series. And so with no further ado, let's begin. First, we lay out the basic principles applied in loading cargo. These are step of loading as follows. Number one, how much cargo can be loaded? In this view, we can utilize the process using dead weight calculations. Number two, storage planning, where to load the cargo. Sample, checking on which cargo holds, the cargo quantity can be loaded. Number three, loading procedure. How to load the cargo? Based on trim and stability dynamics, loading sequence is devised. Now let's focus first on step one. This is where a vessel has received a boy's loading instructions. Let me show you an example of a boy's loading instruction received by the ship. Let's go through the contents of the ship correspondence. As you can see here, we have an email from the ship's company or operation department. We have a two and we have the subjects. Of course, it's addressed to the captain and the subject says here, MB Chief Edulan C, next voyage instruction. To Master, dear Captain, please find your boy instructions for your next employment below. Boys Chapter S, cargo, 30,000 metric tons, 10% more or less in owner's option. Also, iron ore with storage factor about 20 cubic feet per liter without guarantee. To be loaded in clean, clear, and unobstructed main cargo holds. Knowing tanks of places that are inaccessible to charterers or receivers' clubs. Please provide storage plan basis above. They can try vessel date of availability. Loading port, one safety board in Durban, South Africa with 42 feet draft, 1020 specific gravity or 1.020. Discharging port, one safety board in Perth, Australia with 46 feet draft or 1019 specific gravity. Charteres nominated agent three Berkeley. Our first step to take is to gather data. Know all related factors in loading to discharging cargo. This information shall determine if loading cargo is possible for the vessel. The following information has to be collected as follows. 1. Find all information for loading ports and discharging ports with the following to consider. A. Applicable load line zone B. Density of water C. Limitation imposed such as using guide to port entry Information acquired through local agents or charterers Here are the example of the required data that we need to find out Draft limitations Bird, pier or warp configurations Air draft, tides, etc. All this information plays a vital role in completing the storage plan and safely load the ship at its optimum limits. So to further get a clearer view on how to do this, we shall use the deadweight scale. First, we have to check in parallel our load lines zones. So in this sample, I am showing you right now a load line zone. Here, we can see where the vessel is loading and where the vessel is going to discharge her cargo. So based on this charge, the said port for loading is Durban, South Africa, which is located as shown in this red mark. As we can see here, it is also located within the summer zone. Whilst for the discharging port, it is located in Perth, Australia. And just as you see along the chart, it is also located inside and well within the boundaries of summer zone. Bear in mind that in this scenario or example, the density at loading port is 1.020, whilst the density at discharge port is 1.019. Thus, with all the main info we gathered, then we are only left with few details needed to proceed with deadweight calculations. Hence, we also need to have the distance from loading to discharge port, steaming time, fuel consumption, target speed or arrival dates, 
water and ballast and other related factors such as bunkering at load port if required. With this and then, we can now proceed doing the calculations. Notice that in this example, our ship particulars has 9.816 in meters draft, full load at summer load lines mark. This means that as per voyage instructions, we can confirm that there is no issue with draft limitations in both loading port and discharge port. Since load port has a maximum drop limit of 42 feet or equivalent to 12.802 meters and 46 feet at discharge port or equals to 14.02 meters. In this view, we can eliminate our concerns and draft restrictions since we are way lighter at full load drop of 9.816 meters. Of course, the scenario as explained differs from one voyage to another in every bulk carrier ship. Now let's lay out a more descriptive explanation by showing you the Plimsoll load lines mark. Here we calculate or base our limiting draft in parallel to the information we gathered for loading and discharging ports. The point of limiting draft has to be established. Take note, establishing limiting draft determines to which the vessel can maximize its loading capacity. It is the most important step in crucial planning. Thus, using this reference, we have already established that our present or starting point, which is Durban, South Africa, has a restriction of 42 feet. Basically, we are well clear in that kind of restriction. And so also with our discharging point, which is Perth, Australia, which has, uh, which has 46 feet. Again, based on our limiting drops with regard to summer load line, it's 9.816, we are well clear of that limiting drop restriction. Therefore, since we are in summer to summer voyage, you can see here that if summer to summer or summer to tropical, then summer displacement will be your limiting drop. Hence, our limiting drop is 9.816 meters and our reference displacement for calculation is 38,532 metric tons or a dead weight of 30,203. So now we can proceed with the calculations. Let me show you and demonstrate on how to use the deadweight scale. As you can see here, we have the model sample of the deadweight scale of the ship. In most common practices, we utilize the loading computer. For the sake of occasional purposes, here how it is being done. I'm using now a ruler and put it and align to the principal mark under the summer load line. Here we will put a line. As you can see, the displacement at 9.816 meters of summer load line is about 38,532, whilst the dead weight is 32,203 metric tons. You can see here as well the graph. And here the density is 1.0 to 1.025 for the dead weight, and for the displacement again is 1.0 to 1.025. We will have a separate uh, computation or demonstration on how to maximize your loading computation when your densities in ports and discharge port is different from your seawater. So we will be able to adjust the so-called fresh water allowance and dark water allowance. So we can tackle both sinkage and rice. But at this moment, we just set that aside because it's very negligible and we just go directly through this kind of demonstration. And to further complete the information, as you can see in the deadweight scale, we have here the light ship weight of about 8,330 tons. That is based on your graph at light of 2.390 meters. Hence, we will be using 9.816 as your limiting graph with a displacement of 38532 metric tons. So, to further proceed with this demonstration of calculation, we have here the deductible figures and also of course we have the estimated bunker figures from the chip engineer upon departure. So we can now further compute and proceed. We have here 38532, which is our summer displacement and we have the light ship uh, displacement which is 8330, then constant which is minus 189 and of course the bunker which is 352 and the diesel oil which of course uh, Basically, both are uh, bunkers, the weather and diesel oil, and the fresh water is about minus uh, 1.0. The ballast water 
is about 210 and uh, we can also turn ballast water which are unpumpable as dead ballast so in this case we have now a total of 29,285 metric tons of maximum cargo that can be loaded in this vessel to have a deeper degree and greater learning experience enroll to Polaris Center here you will be one on one with a master mariner who has the subject matter expertise and experience with regards to bulk carrier you can check the details included in the description below